What's up, Mad25 Gamers? In today's uh, Sim Tip of the Week, we're going to have a new series starting on the channel. It's going to uh, basically be our Sim Tip of the Week for the next couple of weeks. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be breaking down Peyton Manning's passing offense. As you guys have seen over the last couple of weeks, Peyton Manning has become just an absolute uh, talk of the talk of the NFL right now with the great things he's been doing in Denver. And I want to take a look back to his Indianapolis days uh, where he built this offense uh, that we see here. Uh, I have in front of me right now on smartfootball.com. And we're going to be taking a look at this offense. Um, this offense is is mainly just going to be a, a set of different, a lot of passing concepts broken down. And uh, different ways at which Peyton Manning looked at running these concepts while he was in Indianapolis. And obviously he still uses these concepts today when he's in Denver. And the first concept we're going to look at today, we're in the Denver Broncos playbook. And it comes from the shotgun dice slot. And the play we're going to be looking at today is slants. Now we broke down slants a couple of sim tip of the weeks ago. And we're just going to take another look at it today. We're going to take a look at it again uh, for cover four versus cover three. Now... When we're breaking down this, we know what the defense is in, and we're going to try to simulate some situations where we may not know what they're doing. So, anyways, first of all here, um, we're going to look at this cover um, this cover 2 uh, or cover 4 beating uh, cover four beating slant concept. So, um, one of the things that I like about this is the fact that we only have to read uh, one player. Now, Peyton Manning's offense is... Uh, a lot of people like to run certain um, certain offenses against man, certain offenses against zone. But what was cool about Peyton Manning was he, he ran the same play and it beat man and zone. And he would work these concepts and combinations and route combinations. And, and that's what I love about this read. And you guys can check this article out on smartfootball.com. Just Google search uh, Peyton Manning smart football offense. Or I'll try to leave a link in the description of this video. But... Back to what I'm saying about this slants concept. We've already broken it down. You already know what we're going to do. We're going to read this left slot. So in this case, we're going to read Wes Welker. He's our core read. And if he gets pressed, we're going to know that we need to look to the right slot. If he does not get pressed, then we're going to know that we can either hit Decker or Welker. Now, what we're going to look at first is a cover four. And during the cover four route combination, I like to hit Eric Decker here on his slant. So here, Welker does not get pressed, so we know it's cover four, and there we can hit Decker. Why do we know it's cover four? Because there's four guys deep. You have the corners are off coverage, and there's two deep safeties. This signals to us that it could be a cover four coverage, and so that's why Welker is immediately our first read. And if Welker doesn't get pressed, a lot of times we're going to be hitting Eric Decker no matter what. Now let's hit transition, and now let's look at something that may be considered a, a cover two coverage. Cover two sink, cover two, and cover two man under. First things first is two man under. Here we see it could be cover two, cover two sink, or cover two man under. So we know that if Wes Welker does not get pressed, they're in one of those three coverages, and that's going to mean that we can hit Wes Welker with a pass lead to the inside. So here at the snap, we see, oh, two man under. We can wait. Um, and I waited a little too long on accident. It was, you want to throw it as soon as you see it. It's, it's a quick slant. It's a 12-yard it's a split. You're looking to five to seven steps break. Uh, and it's a, it's just a, it's an idea. That it's just a quick hitting play that we can use to just keep the defense off balance when we're hitting them. With, and it sets up our corner routes and our outside breaking patterns. So uh, here we're looking at it again. Let's take a look at this play as my computer's going nuts while I'm trying to record. Um, all right, so two man under, we see this, and you're going to see right there you can hit Welker quick and just get the ball out of your hands, quick five yards. Like I said, we're looking to five to seven yards on these plays. So that's the first read on cover two man. Now let's take a look at a cover two zone, and it actually works a little better against the zone, uh, a little more open. So here we see cover two could be cover two sink, cover two man, cover four, whatever. We would see that the press coverage is now going to tell us we're mainly looking to Welker to hit here. So here he doesn't get pressed. We know immediately we can hit him with a pass lead to the inside and uh, get a quick seven yards. Now let's look at a situation where Wes Welker might get pressed out of a cover two coverage. Two man under. Now they're going to press out of it. Here Wes Welker is going to get pressed. So we're going to know immediately to transition to the right side where we can hit Demarius Thomas breaking over the middle on his slant route. All right. And then that complete, uh, and that allows me to transition easily here to cover, uh, cover three. So here we're going to take a look at a cover three coverage. This is a situation where Welker, Wes Welker will get pressed, and thus it's going to force us to look back to Demarius Thomas here. So here Welker gets pressed, so we know it immediately to look back to Demarius Thomas. Sometimes he'll drop it. I'll be honest, but a lot of times he'll be he'll be uh, strong and not drop the ball. Let's see if we can get it to work where he does not drop it. Um, 
Welker gets pressed. We know immediately hit Demarius Thomas. And there again, a quick four, five, seven, five to seven yards is what we're looking for on this play. And you can obviously re-slant them with your hot routes to get them to go a little deeper. Here I'm going to re-slant Demarius Thomas. He gets pressed. I know immediately they hit Tom Thomas over the middle. And uh, real quick, let's take a look at what happens out of this cover three. So I chose this cover three specifically because it looks exactly like a cover four. But in this scenario, now Wes Welker is going to get pressed, and we know immediately to hit Demarius Thomas on the backside. Last play I want to look at is a cover uh, zero or cover one scenario with a DB blitz. And this is what it's going to look like here typically. And so here we're going to see Wes Welker doesn't get pressed. We know we can immediately hit him against the cover, cover zero. But real quick, let me show you the cover one uh, with the hook zone in the middle. Uh, typically, cover one coverage has uh, manned up on the outsides, or everybody's manned up, and then they have the um, they have a guy underneath here. So let's see if we can find a cover one press here. So here's cover one press, and we're gonna see Wes Welker has a guy on him, so we immediately go to Thomas. Now, what we what we can do is when we're looking to throw against the cover one, when we see this right here, single high safety, um, Church here, when he's single high, this signals to me, okay, I'm going to mainly look, I'm probably going to be hitting the right side slant here. So I immediately say, Wes Welker, you're out of the picture, because if I threw to Wes Welker here, there's going to be three people ready to just kill him as soon as he catches the ball. So that's why the, the, the read changes based off of the front that they give us, the leverage at which their corners are playing. So here I see this. Wes Welker does not get pressed, but even though he doesn't get pressed, I know that Demarius Thomas is where I really want to go with the football, and there you see I beat him. And then, for example, let's take a look at cover one off coverage. See this, and immediately hit Demarius Thomas. It works the same way. Everything works the same. It's just the spacing on the field, and it's different versus every play. It sets up all of our plays, and the core philosophy of this offense, we need to hit the slants fast. We need to hit the slants often, and we need to make sure that the defense respects the fact that our, our simple play of the slants concept can beat every coverage in the game. Thank you guys for watching this week's Sim Tip of the Week. If you guys are excited about the Peyton Manning Offensive Series, be sure to share it on Twitter for some of your friends and like the video. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you guys for watching so much. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I'll get with back with you as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next week. With uh, I think we're going to be breaking down the three verticals concept next week, so be sure to come back for that. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.